Uh, good evening, all of you. Uh, first on the agenda is a, an NOI for 113 Nelson's Shoe. Nelson's Shoe. I'm sure it's not Shoe, is it? I don't think so. Is that supposed to be Nelson's Grove? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How did that? I know how that happened. We won't name names. Okay, first, at least it's right on here. According to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40 of the Wetlands Protection Act, there will be a hearing on a notice of intent by Jeffrey and Kelly Davis to raise the existing house and construction of a single family house with associated septic tank with singular unit pump chamber, utilities, grading, and landscaping within the 100 foot buffer zone of Assawamset Pond. Location of the project is 113 Nelson's Grove Road, Lakeville, map 057, block 005, lot 006, and map 057, block 004, and lot 002. Public hearing be held on Tuesday, August 27th at 7 p.m. Now that I'm all tired out, you can take over. <laughs> uh, good evening for the record. Niles Zager from Zenith Consulting Engineers. Um, we're here before you tonight uh, for the reconstruction of an existing home. Uh, the Davises, what they would like to do is they'd like to tear down the home that they already currently have there and build a new home. Um, and what that is going to require is it's going to require work within 100 feet of Assawamset Pond, um, and it's going to require um, a small portion of work within the flood zone. Um, however, there will be no change in the elevation in the rear of the property or within that flood zone, so there will be no compensatory storage required. Um, we're depicting the, um, the resource area by the low water mark here. Um, there's, a, there's a stone embankment that runs along the rear of the property here. Um, you can see this dark dashed uh, dotted line here is the flood zone, which is elevation 57. Um, and then with this dashed dark thick line here is our erosion control, which we're depicting with silt sock here. We have a detail there for it. Um, so what's required here is, there's an, this was, as you know, there was an existing house here. The septic system was upgraded back in, I believe, 2004 or so um, by the Davises. The existing septic system was actually placed across the street on the separate parcel across from Nelson Show, uh, Nelson's Grove Road. Um, so that is going to remain in place. That's not going to change. There was a Title V inspection done on that, um, and that passed with flying colors. Um, the only work that's being done on the septic system itself is the tank the pump chamber and the singular unit, the advanced treatment unit, are uh, just being relocated in order to meet the setbacks that are required with the relocation of the new home. Um, so those existing tanks are basically gonna be taken out, new tanks put in, um, and the force main that's running from the pump chamber to the existing septic system that's crossing Nelson's Grove um, will be relocated and dug across and retrenched. Um, this will. This hasn't been in front of the Board of Health yet. It's, I believe, on the agenda for next Wednesday with the Board of Health for approval. So there's no variances that are requested because all the variances and again the septic staying exactly the same. The tank locations are actually further away than what they were from the pond. Not by much, but they are. Um, the variances were already granted, so the Board of Health has no concern on that. The only reason why we're going to the Board of Health is because. The Board of Health wants us to notify the, the Homeowners Association on Nelson's Grove that we're going to be trenching across their, um, their private way, which is all, uh, which is a small portion of that, a very small portion of that is located within the 100 foot uh, to Aswamsa Pond. Um, other than that, um, all the areas will be restabilized with either loam and seed or walkways. Um, there is a, a significantly good sized porch in the back here, which there was on the existing home as well. Um, the home's gonna be put on a, within a crawl space. There's gonna be a crawl space because as you know, as I stated before, we've got flood issues. Um, so in order to make all that work, we couldn't do a full foundation. We had to do a crawl space to keep the flood storage the same. Um, other than that, uh, the well, the existing well is gonna stay exactly where it is. Utilities are gonna stay. Um, grades on site are staying almost exactly as is. Um, there's no, there's really no change at all, um, other than that the foundation is being picked up about a foot uh, from the existing one to the new one. 
uh, but that's top, not top of foundation. Top of top. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Yes, the top of foundation is going to be picked up about a foot. But again, they got a crawl space underneath, so the grades are not going to change. Besides that, pretty uh, pretty straightforward. Be happy to answer any questions uh, that you have. Good. Um, in the notes on note five, it seems like there's a significant um, notation about natural heritage. Yes. Um, can you speak to that? Of course. Uh, so it is map natural heritage. We note we uh, we notified natural heritage. We submitted it to natural heritage, um, as we always would, um, and. So basically they have, I don't believe they've responded yet. We always pay the $300 fee that's required, but 99% of the time they have a um, designation in their regulations that says if you're working with a, within a previously landscaped area, um, it's exempt. Um, so I always pay the fee, they typically will give it back, but I like to like them make the decision and not me. Um, I don't like to take that chance, so yeah. We so pay you, it. you don't anticipate having to come back because of changes, which is fine. Exactly. Yeah. They, like I said, this, now if there was if there was vegetation as far as like a wood uh, wooded area being taken down or something of that nature, then yes, that would be tri that would trigger it. And it looks like I mean you're closer, like non existing non conforming. Correct. And so. You go through the zoning board of appeals. That's one hundred percent correct. We will be going through the zoning. We're on the agenda for September nineteenth. Yeah, we've already gotten a notice. Yes. Uh, for for comment. Yes. <clears throat> Do you have the file number yet? Uh, yeah, I got one. Uh, I got one today. Twenty seven. Yes. Do you remember? Uh, I, I've got the original size drawing. If anybody wants to look at it. Actually, I've got several. Yes. Um, why are you expecting to have need of a dewatering basin? Honestly, I always put it there just in case. Just in I case. don't think okay. it's going to be needed. Because I, I didn't see anything that would require it, and I was wondering why it was there. Okay. I like to have it so that way if there is, yeah, as you know, we get on site sometimes, yeah. there's unforeseen <laughs> field adjustments. <laughs> that yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather right. be on there. It's almost kind of like a default detail that I put on there, especially when working by the water. And uh, another question. Yes. An observation. Uh, in two locations, you're using a 10-inch silt sock, and it says you're using a two-by-two two wooden stake? Yeah, I know that's, that's... a big stake. I don't think that's right. That's not right. Yeah, I don't think it's that's like right. one by yeah, one. It's usually a yeah. one by one. A two-by-two two is... That's a big hunk of wood. Yeah, I, I, I wonder why that's... Well, actually, I think that they send you with a two-by-two, two, but they only send you, like, enough to do every, like, 12 feet. Oh. And then you this have is, to supplement it with the one-by-ones. This is at... You've got this at 10 feet intervals. Okay, so that maybe is what they send I along. I mean, you know, we're not, yeah. you, you have basically no slope at all right here. Not oh, even, that, that's correct. It's not even a slope, so I mean, you're not going to have a, a great silt sediment load, so. No. No, but I was looking at that, it's two well, it is a, it is a fair amount of excavation. Oh, yeah. yeah. Be, oh, yeah. Could be yeah. some water, so it's yeah. not. But you don't have gravity fighting you, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't expect like a, you know, a big storm to be washing it out like, you know, crazy, but could happen. Hurricane season is still here? Yes, sir. We've got ways to go. I have no further questions. Motion. I would make a motion to close the hearing and issue an order of conditions for the NOI on 113 Nelson's Grove Road. Uh, I guess that's it. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank you. There you go. Shoot those down to Bob, please.
Oh, yeah, we have that already. We have the ad. I've got yours, yeah. Next on the agenda is another NOI. This is for 12 Dunbar. And I'll read the notice. The Lakeville Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on Tuesday, August 27th, 2019, at 7 p.m. at the Lakeville Senior Center, One Deer Crossing, Lakeville, on a notice of intent submitted by Daryl and Kelly Fess, 184 West Canton Street, uh, Boston. The project is to raise the existing house and build a new single family residence and septic system, install new well, replace existing hillside stairs and deck, and install new private dock on Long Pond and within the buffer zone of the pond. Project is located at 12 Dunbar Road and is further identified as lot 28 of Assessor's Map 39, Block 5. Did I get it right? Yes, sir. Okay, good. It's all yours. Hey, Mr. Chairman and members of the commission, my name is Rick Sharon from Sharon Associates. Uh, we worked on this uh, project uh, Oh gosh, about a year, a year and a half ago, and I believe we came in with an RDA to you mm -hmm. for a septic repair, and that was for the old house. Uh, the estate put it up for sale once we had all the approvals on things, and it was purchased by Mr. and Mrs. Fess. And if you've seen the house, I'm sure you guys have been out there to take a look at it. It's an older house that's probably 1920s vintage, and very poor repair. It's not been maintained for years. <clears throat> they want to tear it down, build a new home on the property. It's a beautiful site. Sits up on the bluff up there, about 25 feet above the pond, and it's uh, it's prime prime site. So what they're proposing is uh, uh, the plan you have shows dotted in the existing house. You can see the the proposed footprint slightly bigger, of course, uh, porch is added to it, um, but set back the same distance from the top of the bank as the existing building, and also the same on the sideline. Uh, it is bumping out a little bit closer on the opposite side to the uh, to the 20 foot setback required for new construction. Uh, we are going to Board of Appeals on this. This is a, a request for special permit to, to raise and rebuild the house. Uh, grades wise, really no changes. Uh, no need to raise this house up. It's just not on a big pile of sand. You can have an eight foot deep, ten foot deep basement in there, be bone dry. Um, septic system hasn't changed uh, a bit, except we moved the septic tank just slightly uh, to get a little bit more room for the house. But uh, other than that, we have not triggered any need for variances from Board of Health that haven't been already approved under the previous repair for the old house. Uh, they are also proposing, outside the buffer zone, uh, a new garage, which again, that'll be an issue with Board of Appeals, and I, I know they're looking at lot coverages, and I think we're right about around the 25% uh, uh, mark with the uh, lot coverages. The other work that's proposed, in addition to the house and the septic, is to replace the stairs that go down uh, to, to the uh, pond from there. And I know Mrs. Fess, uh, they don't they don't look that imposing from 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 the water side. So when you're down here at the bottom, they don't look too bad. Yeah. But I, I've got a picture from the top of you. Yeah. And if you're looking down from the top, it's pretty damn scary. You don't want to fall down. <laughs> that's just what she said. She's afraid she'd tumble yep. down there, end up yep. in the pond. And uh, not be heard from again. So that that's that's the view that scared the life out of her. So what we suggested was coming down and turning and putting a couple of switchbacks on it so she could take it in sections. If it did fall, you'd, you'd stop before you get all the way down to the bottom. So that's what you see winding down here. We've got two platforms. One of, it's interesting. One of the things I didn't even think of when, when we suggested this to her was that when you turn and go perpendicular to the slope, you've got to be high enough to get two or three steps down without digging into the hillside because mm -hmm. you're alongside it. Yeah. So that's that's why you see kind of the, the shape goes down a couple of steps, then over and back over and tries to wiggle down again a little bit more. So um, I don't know if that's going to be the final situation, but we've worked out the numbers on this, so it looks like that would work uh, to get you down there and, and not have to change any, uh, any existing elevations, get you down to the bottom. At the bottom right now, there's about a 24-foot long uh, by eight foot wide uh, deck that's on top of some masonry. There's a old masonry walls that run along the edge of the pond down there. Not in the best shape, but uh, at this point they're not coming forward to ask about repairing those. So those would stay the same. We'd take the old PT uh, deck off, put a new pressure treated deck on top of that. And then what they're proposing is a, uh, geez, and I should be getting commissions for these docks. Uh, <laughs> that's one I bought a few years ago from upstate New York called Best Made Dock. It's a 
Uh, it's an aluminum dock system that hinges, so you don't have to go in the water. Once you have the legs set, you just put them in section by section, yep. drop them in, and you take them out the same way. So if you're like me and you don't take them out sometimes until after uh, uh, Columbus Day and it's getting yep. chilly, you, you don't, don't have to be in the water to take them out. So, so that's what they're proposing down here. Um, there is one, and I don't know if we're able to do this or not uh, uh, at the meeting, but we had proposed three eight-foot sections, and at the time, uh, from meshing out there, it looked like we were going to have about three feet at uh, 24 feet out. Well, that was in the springtime. All right, they were out there uh, a weekend last weekend, waited out to the to that point, checked it, and it was down to closer to two feet. Mm -hmm. So they've asked if they could go two more sections of dock to make it a 20 uh, a four foot by 40 foot dock. Mm -hmm. I had told them what's going to limit them somewhat is you've got a slow dock section. You can't be carrying up and down this hill. So that will go on to that eight by 24 foot uh, uh, dock, and that. I think that's what's pretty much going to limit what they can do in terms of dock. Uh, but the, the dock section, the aluminum sections come up very easily. You take the, the wooden planks out. They are made also to, to satisfy the, uh, uh, the small docks and piers uh, uh, policy of the EP. So they've got the, the uh, uh, what you say, spacing between the, the wooden boards when you put them down. So they will let some sunlight through uh, to the bottom. Uh, that's essentially what they're, what they're looking to do, and I did bring a, another plan showing it uh, out to 40 feet, if you would accept that tonight, if that's something that can be considered. But aside from that, uh, the main project is to replace the house uh, septic system and uh, the stairs and the uh, waterfront structures. Is there a Chapter 91 permit? In there is not. Not. So to my knowledge, permit. there wasn't a dock there in the, in the past. It okay. was just this deck yeah. down there. So that would have to be DEP, right? That's yes. the issue there. Yeah. I want someone, one of these days, on a piece of land like this. All right, steps. Put in a water slide. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, except you'd pick up so much speed on that thing. No, you, you do a couple of twists and turns and shoot right out. You know, then you it's a two feet of get, water. It's a stairs to get back up. I mean, this is logical, you know? Shoot a little valve up top, get a little water flowing. Right? You can make money during the summer on that hill. That's what the other stairway was going to be, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a version of that. Yeah. Well, yeah. We've had a number of replacements of existing multi level twisting turn steps. Oh, and it's something I have to mention, too. Uh, if you've been out there, you can see that there are, between the existing house and the top of the bank, there are three tall pines. And I'm talking yes. 75, yes. 80. Does, does anyone pines. want a full scale drawing? Yeah, and yeah, right big yeah. pines. You, you've got the number, Bob, right? You have the file numbers. Yeah. Oh, I don't have it with me, but it's either 25 or 26 or 27. 27. Okay. You have it. So, of course, we don't need this then. Okay. Oh, here it is. Um, just, just a few shots of this. You can see the, the very, very tall pines. Yeah. And their request could be to remove those three pines because to, to put a brand new. Three hundred thousand, three hundred fifty thousand dollar house, and have these uh, this so 75, the 75 mm -hmm. 80 feet tall, yeah. and they're right at the edge of the water. They're going to come down at some stop at some point. I had a logger on my property today, mm -hmm. putting in a new house, and he, he's going to take everything 70 feet, 80 feet away from the house. Same thing in mine, are 100, 105. Mm -hmm. So you want to go there. Like this. So. That's that's what we have here. We get yeah. some trees that are beyond a real useful life, and they're just scary trees right now. What we what we would suggest is that we not take the roots out of these, so we don't destabilize the top of the bank up there. So we can we can grind these things down with a stump grinder and leave the roots in place. Yeah. If that's acceptable. So I, I have a couple of concerns. Mm -hmm. If I could speak to it. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so the, the grade up, up on top of the hill yes. looks relatively flat. Yes. Um, you have a notation that says a hay, hay bale silt barrier, but you haven't really drawn a line in. You know, I was looking at that, that uh, layer got turned off somehow. Okay, we've got a separate layer for hay. All right, so that the, the notation's there and the hay bale line is not. I should have brought that up because I noticed yeah. on the one that I have in here for you. So uh, I, I definitely would like to see on the, the plan of record something to maybe go up the lot line to encompass the edge of the well and come yeah. all the way across, just because you are going to excavate all the yeah, way across. Yeah, definitely. For the line. Right across the front there. Um, it, to me, that would satisfy the construction of the well and the house and the proposed garage mm -hmm. because of that low slope. 
Separately, though, I think a separate issue, which I'm not trying to make it a separate filing, but the stairs is its own entity, and I have to assume you're going to anchor these somehow into the hillside. Okay. I would like to see a separate silt fence, even if it's sock or fence, okay. you know, the, the old stakes and mesh, just to encompass when you do do that work coming down that hillside at the stairs. At the base of the hill. There's going to be a fair amount of, when you remove the stairs, yes. guys are going to be going up and down that hill, and yeah. it's the, the most unstabilized part of the whole project. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see something upwards of that little, is that a concrete pad you'd said? It's or a, a deck pad. or whatever it is that where they're going to put the dock parts. Oh. From there up, I'd like to see something on the plan to, to show protections for the stair work, if we're going to approve that as well. We could, uh, I, I, I've been able to submit you one showing the hay bale siltation fence at the top of the hill, so I'll add that in at the bottom, so we'll have a, um, a plan that includes both of those. Is that going to be probably construction on sauna tubes? Or I think probably so. Although you know they've got those uh, those uh, deck posts that you can drive down to the ground, the steel ones, okay, that you can set your post mm -hmm. onto, and mm -hmm. I think that might work well here because it's gonna be tough to do any kind of work on that. It's like a thirty-three so percent steep, grade yeah. going up there, so yeah. very very difficult to try to, to dig and uh, carry concrete. Uh, so I, I, I've got a feeling that those those steel spikes may be the the, the best solution here. Okay. We, well, go ahead. either yeah, obviously one would be less impactful than the other, but either way, I would like to see something on the plan just to so show a silt protection at the base of the stairs. Okay. It doesn't have to go across the entire lot, but you know, at least to encompass maybe five or ten feet wider than the stairs at the bottom of them. That was actually a suggestion that came up when, when the owners came in to see me, uh, that we do the stairs later on, uh, maybe as a separate filing, if, if there was any, any changes that were anticipated or just not, not completely comfortable with the, you know, the plan. Yeah. I, I'd have to say uh, I don't think we have enough. Uh, we, we've got points on that hillside to define it well enough. But to get the actual construction of, the, of that, then we probably have to get a little bit more uh, detail on our field work to, right. to really see what that is. Um, I just, the, the, only, the only thing that I uh, would be concerned about would be having to have a second file number running in conjunction with the first file number. You know. We could do it as an amended order of conditions. Okay. It maintains the same number. Well, okay. we've, we've done two different filings on the same piece of property before. Right. Typically, oh, yeah. you, like you can, it, but yeah. it does get confusing yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And then one does when you're trying to close it out. out. That's a, yeah, especially if there's any, gets closed yes. any time it happened in between. To me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it usually shows up when I don't have a it. problem with the stairs. I think it's good to have everything on one plan if, yeah. if there's no problem with the rest no, of the board. Right. Well, we always uh, tell people to include everything if yeah. possible. Yeah, right. I, I think it's great that he's come to us with all of this. You had some pictures in relation to what I'm looking at here. Where are the trees in relation to, say, this? Is it this pine here? There's one, and there's actually probably two more in here. But you're planning on grinding the stumps. You're not going to remove stumps. Right. You want to, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't have a problem. No. Them, the, those things are always a, a, oh, yeah. a widow maker waiting to happen. Yeah, a huge. Yeah. Blowing over on a house or something. Uh, so, uh, you were here for the other hearing. Uh, the other engineer had a, a dewatering basin you're going to be drilling a new well we have a, a mud pit yes okay and obviously I, well i would assume but would the well be one of the first things you do when you once the trees are gone raise cut the trees raise the existing dwelling and get the well drilled before you complete you know i just I think I for think getting trucks around there try and, to move from the from the water back and then yeah Get in because really, once they get the excavation going here, we're probably going to have soil stockpiles on that side until things get stabilized. Where is the mud pit going to be? Uh, right near the well. Should be. See it on that. Okay. Well, the desk. Yeah. Uh, right here. Okay. Mud. Mud pit. Note H sits right here. Here's yeah. the well, and just to the left of it. Note H. Uh, provide pit for drilling mud approximately 2 by 10 by 12 inches deep aligned with filter fabric. Okay, from where the existing well is on this map. Yes. Right here. Okay. okay. And there's that mud pit just here. Just above it. I report well set back. Okay. Yeah. Mud pit. Okay. Got it. That's a lot of wells in that neighborhood. Mm. 
tough to make the distances. Yeah. Yeah. And also, um, can you trace out the uh, the outline for Dunbar Road as well as the driveways? Yeah, that, I did, we didn't bring that up, but I probably should have mentioned that earlier. I never seen a situation like this. Okay? Yeah. yeah. You've got a one section here of Dunbar Road that stops right at the lot that we're talking about here. And you have another section of Dunbar yeah. Road coming in from yeah, the yeah, Churchill exactly. Shores yeah. that also stops. Yeah. And then and it branches side. and two go over to the um, um, fellow Mike over here on this side and, and, and his neighbor. So two of them come in on this branch and then everybody else on Dunbar Road comes of course, across this portion. Yeah, it's kind of, of a free-for-all. If everybody comes in at the same time, it's going to be... It's a basically prescriptive easement at this point. Yeah. There's no, nothing in writing. There's nothing on the deed indicating really? that people know. But when it's been there that long... You can't block it off, so, it. so it's a, definitely an adverse possession type of thing. Yeah. Uh, nobody's going to get blocked from going across there. So we've, you know, we've respected that, and, and the, the owners just realized, don't mess with, with your neighbors. <laughs> You're going to pave the driveway, though. Uh, the, so it's partially paved now. Uh, this area here is um, would probably be paved. This is this is paved. It's kind of break, broken up in here, but uh -huh. uh, I, I expect they're probably going to repair that portion. Of it. Okay. I don't think they're going to do anything for the, the folks on the other side, but I think if they chose to repair it, they're not going to stand in their way. Mm Number one, you know, it's, it's always boilerplate and not set for a garbage grinder. And now, in the freezing years, they've been adding, you know, the back flush fluid from a water treatment system. Now we've added for a script for a disposal of prescription medications. Yes, which mm -hmm. is, yeah. Um, yeah, I have to. We have my, my understanding is that there's probably not a water body or a riverine area in North America that doesn't have prescription medications. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was about um, four years ago, uh, we had um, uh, what you call in-service training down at URI, yeah. and the URI people who do so many of these advanced treatment designs and everything had done one for an elderly couple, only two people in the house, went back six months later to check on it, and it was failing. And they just couldn't figure out why, because the flows were so low, this thing should have been doing fine. They found out that the man's wife was on chemotherapy, and just what she was bringing home, and and their bodily discharge was enough to kill that septic system. So, yeah. so you have, you have some, some powerful medicines and uh, naturally antibiotics, anything that's going to kill bacteria is going to do the same thing in the septic tank and the septic it, system. It is. Okay. My, my late wife was on chemotherapy for cancer. Uh -huh. I told you, when you go to the bathroom, you flush three times. To try to dilute it. Yeah. To, to, to dilute it. That's how evil that stuff is. And <coughs> If it's, if, that's, if it's going into a sewer system, that's one thing. Right. But if it's going into your septic tank. Yeah. I mean, it's the first time we heard about it yeah. Yeah. from yeah. the URI guys. They're pretty, pretty uh, believable sources. So. Yeah. Uh, there is one other matter that Mr. Sharon has brought to us um, regarding the dock. Um, I, mean, I kind of don't think we should act on that. Not opposed. Well, we can make... Ours contingent on a, a DEP permit for the. Is that what you mean? Yeah, but dock? it's we're not. Yeah, we're, we're not the said, awarding authority anyway, right? It works, it works in both directions. Well, and it's you know, a, and it's a removable gonna, dock. It's removable. Yeah. 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 So how many people roll them in on wheels? Never have asked. Well, you're still supposed to have a permit. For yeah, oh, yeah, but I, I just think we we're not denying it in any action that we do. I just think it's, we leave it up to the EP and we approve, approve the plan as drafted, but we're not really permitting a dock. Right. The, the, the only thing I would add to that, Mr. Knox, is that DEP won't allow us to go forward with the Chapter yeah, 91 one application until, unless we have an right, active order. conservation yeah. approval. So we need to have, we need to have it included. So, in, in so we, can, we can approve it contingent on there. You can make it subject to right. their conditions? Yeah. yeah. All right. That's, that's fine. fine. That's fair. So how do we want to act on this? I mean, it, uh, there's a couple of uh, 
amendments to the plan that need to happen uh, with some silt fence. Uh, a motion could be contingent for well, DP for the dock. Did, did you say you had another plan with the full dock that you I wanted to submit? With, but but what I what I suggest is that I uh, update it to include the, the silt fence shown okay. on here okay. and the one that you do discussed the, at the base. Do the, the longer dock then? What's that? Put then, the longer dock on. Yes. There. Yes. Yeah. You know, that's. Yeah. And we'll we'll make it contingent on. Uh, um, well, then we'd have to revise. We'd plan. have to vote to to no, accept vote, that plan. To, we vote to accept it, uh, pending receipt of the revised plan. So we can still close it out. Okay. Well, I think we should have a chance to review the plan. <clears throat> we, we we still could, pending receipt and a final approval. Uh, then we have to vote on it. That's, we have to vote on that. That's, that's going to be done. Right. I, I just think we, at the next meeting, if you don't mind coming back. At our next meeting with that revised plan, we would certainly vote weeks. on it. Um, if, if, as long as uh, uh, I know they they kind of pushing the, their envelope here, or the time frame because we're going into board of appeals. I think uh, the night after tomorrow, uh, will this still allow you to give it a favorable review for ZBA, uh, or would it uh, mean that you wouldn't want to say anything until you've got? Oh no, I think we can. Uh, we can't take an official vote. I don't think, but we can certainly. Given the fact that there are amendments to be made to the plan, if those amendments are made, we, we would approve it, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, they could certainly watch the meeting. I would, you know, I guess I would advise you to say that our board uh, reacted in a positive fashion to our plan, but I need to make some minor changes right. that don't affect the zoning or any zoning board of appeals mm -hmm. regulations. That I'm going back to them with that plan. The probably but, wetland issues. Yeah, and you yeah. could actually show them the amended plan, the difference. Okay. Uh, I can and, put that in the recommendation that's going yeah, to Yeah, so he gave a recommendation. Well, that just I can get this plan revised. We'll get it in, uh, send copies into you and mm -hmm. uh, uh, take it into the Board of Appeals meeting and, and make that the plan of record okay. Okay. with them. That'll okay. work. Yeah, so we're, that's, I would much rather have the revised plan for us to vote it in as the, the new plan yep. and then make that final motion. Pen, you know, with the new plan in front of us, we've had a, a couple of engineers that they might want to sneak something else in without us looking at it if it just comes to the office. No, you, Not that you would do that, but... They must have been <laughs> out of town. <laughs> this is a uh, pretty agreeable board. There's no need to try to sneak anything around here. Yeah. We've been, we've been yeah, all it, set with Board of Health? Uh, board of Health, I would say we've... Uh, I've been talking to Kevin tomorrow because I sent him the revised one. Okay. But just telling him that the only change was just moving the septic tank slightly from so the original. Any action tonight? Uh, we'll, we'll then take a vote to uh, continue. To continue. To it September 9th? The 10th. The 10th. Motion to continue. The so we don't need to 12 Dunbar? Okay. Yeah, 12 Dunbar. 12 Dunbar yeah. hearing until the conservation of September 20th at 7 p.m. meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good night. Thanks. These are for us. Do you want these back or? Uh, you keep those in the file. Yeah. Right? Okay. This, this time, the stack over here. I have the uh, certified and the newspaper. Here. I guess who's next? That's you. Let's open it. Okay, according to the Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40 of the Wetlands Protection Act, there will be a hearing on a request for determination of applicability by Kevin and Suzanne Hurth for an, uh, an addition to an existing structure and relocation of a 1,500 gallon septic tank within the 100 foot buffer zone. Location of the project is 8 Edgewater Drive, Lakeville, map 55, block 1, lot 35. Public hearing will be held on Tuesday, August 27th at 7 p.m. Do we have anything? Thank you. Uh, yes. Can I stand up there? Yeah. Yep. Step up to the mic. I'm going to be here, so I'm going to be here.
I was told to be here. So. The filing. Like can get Oh, okay. All right. So. And here's another copy of it. So in your own words, just explain what it is you're, you're doing. Um, basically, we would like to put on um, an addition to our kitchen. And in doing so, it is uh, going to be, uh, we need to move the septic system, the septic uh, tank, I'm sorry. So we would like to move that further out to the street so I can get a kitchen. The kitchen I have right now is <laughs> a one-person kitchen. I can't feed all my kids in it. <laughs> so um, that is what we'd like to do. There, there are four that... components, correct me if I'm wrong, okay. to this project overall. There are the trees that you want to remove. Have you done that yet? Yes. Okay, so, that, that's, so that's done. done. Good. <laughs> There's the carport, yep. um, which is hand-drawn on the, on the plan here. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right there. Okay. Right here. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which is not part of this file. Which is outside. Of the I was just going to say the carport. I believe we've taken out of this file. Right. Okay. But you're still going to go ahead and do it. It's just separate. It's, we have not, nothing to say about it. Mm, correct. Okay. And then there is uh, the kitchen, which is going to have a full a full basement underneath, right? No, uh, cross space. Crawl space. Crawl space. That's, that's right. But because of its location, uh, it's going to impact on the existing septic tank, which you're going to move anywhere from 15 to 30 feet, right? I know Towards the, the, the numbers. Street. Yep. Yes, I believe far, what we had said was, yeah, away, away from the water. Away okay. from the water towards the street, towards Edgewater mm -hmm. Drive. All right. Yeah. And, and it's just the tank. There's no septic system changes, yep. no same elevation, everything else. Is same elevation, everything. Yeah. It's actually, yep, going yeah, so towards and in, into the driveway. We might sure. lose a car space. I'm just going to say, where was like going into the driveway? Right here. Here's the, here's the kitchen oh, okay. addition. Okay. Oh, so it's on the back of the house. Yep. So, this one that I have. There's know. no real disruption to the plate. Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, so the carport is there. Um, right here's, here's the tank that's going to move. So oh, I could have come around and color coded all of them. <laughs> could I ask some questions on this? Sure. Um, so, do you have uh, a contractor that's going to be moving the septic tank currently? Correct. I do not know his name. Oh, well, I shouldn't say that. I know his name is Nick. <laughs> My um, he will pull the permits and all of that. My husband has been talking to him. And has that gone to the Board of Health? We have Board of Health and Zoning Board approval to do this already. So I believe that the, so that the is zoning, just, yes. The, the, the Board of Health has approved the septic tank. Board. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure the elevations work and you don't have to leave here to go to another board, nope, and then they I, say something and you have to come back. Oh, okay, no, they have uh, already approved it. Um, I don't know if this is the Board of Health or not. A motion, yes, because we've already done that meeting, and um, done both of those. And the addition's going on the back of the house toward closer to the road. Correct. So there's nothing being done any further any closer to the lake? Nothing's going closer to the, the lake. I do not want to ruin my view. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Is, is the Even for a stay? kitchen. <laughs> yes. Is is the ramp a paved ramp, or the, is that gravel? No, the ramp is the um, that new material, the the plastic decking type. I'm not sure what the actual name of it is. Uh, the the tracks. Tracks. Yes, yeah. it's tracks. So right but, now we're going back and forth whether that ramp will actually stay there because the door might need to be moved. But um, are we talking about the same ramp? I'm talking about what looks like a boat ramp. Oh, the boat ramp will not be touched. I'm sorry. I, there's also a ramp going up to the door, like a wheelchair. Is the boat ramp oh. paved? The boat ramp is paved. That was paved way before we oh, that's arrived, just, and that's not going to be touched. But your excavation is very close to that. It looks like a maybe a five-foot strip between the house and the boat ramp. Correct. And the, is that lawn? The uh, That is lawn right now, yeah. and the addition is going to be the same existing width. Uh, will not continue. Same the, line as the house. Same edge. line as the house on that ramp side, yeah. on the boat ramp side. 
So, I mean, I, I, I feel like we should have some sort of silt protection barrier right. on that edge. Or if you're digging a foundation, yeah. Well, is the fence going to stay? The wooden fence that's there now? The it's going to come down. Part of the wooden carpet. fence will have to come down mm -hmm. to get things in there so we can pour and, and that type of stuff. Can I come yeah. up and point to the Absolutely. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I so, so this, uh, this is the ramp, and this is a um, metal fence along here because we have dogs that we, we don't like coming on this side. So we will put, um, if hay's okay, because I know I had put hay on this side, um, along the side there so nothing can go down the ramp. Yeah, you'd have to have some kind of protection. Because mm -hmm. you get modern we'll stuff on that ramp in a rain, it's just going to pour. It's yes. just going to run right into the pond, so we yeah. need some sort of protection. <laughs> you know, your, your excavation is going to be oh, like right, five right. feet wide, and you're mm -hmm. going to dig this out. Yep. And you're going to have, you know, your excavation line is like this. Mm -hmm. So we really need something through here. Okay. So to, nothing goes down the ramp. Right. So, yeah. We, it, it's going to happen if nothing gets put there. We need some sort of protection, okay. and it needs to be affixed. Which I mean, I, I hate to see you have to a put sock, stakes through a your. Sock would probably work good there, right? You think it would sit tight on pavement? Once it gets wet, it'll stick right to it. Yeah, and as long as they maintain. And it's pretty choppy pavement. It's not. So I mean, you, you could still stake it over here where there's there is grass coming off the edge of the house, and oh, then okay. if, if it sat, and then when you got maybe over to. Soil again here, stake the other end of it, but we okay. we just we need something there. Yep, no problem. Yep. Um, so a sock you feel would be better, not hay bales. Right. Yep. Okay. And once it's in place, notify us so we can go out and take a look okay. at it. Okay. And are we worried about the other side where there's a deck in the corner of the house, a small section of protection between the deck and the house? How does this it's, it's, it's tough to. This is. So okay. So the house here. Um, we don't plan, I don't want to go anywhere over to this side. So the house is still right here. Right, but I'm just saying maybe from here to here, we just need a little bit more of that sock. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just okay. so, it's hard to tell because you don't have a plan with elevations on it. Okay. So we're assuming this is low because it's water. Mm -hmm. And, you know, usually there's rings like this that show the grade yep. sloping down. So we have to assume worst case water is going to at some point want to run through here on this side of the excavation which might pull some silt so we would like to see from maybe some sauna tubes under this deck to the corner of the house some sock there okay. and then the sock on this side to protect your two points of excavation from not running silt and that okay. fine sand into the the, no the, the yeah. resource area and anytime you're breaking vegetative cover yep. is you get rain and Yep. It's, it's amazing how fast the <laughs> soil can disappear. It's pretty, our spot is, and that's one of the things I love, liked about it, it is pretty flat. flat. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. It's not a lot, other than, of course, the ramp that was made so long ago, but it's pretty good. But I definitely do the sock. Yeah. Is that what it's called, the sill sock? So when I go to get it, the sill yeah. sock, okay. That's what I wrote down. Okay. Have you dug any, any test pits in the area where you're going to move the tank? Any, uh, uh, any tests? Right. No. Just to see if there are any boulders or anything you might have to encounter or deviate from I the hope there's not any, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Start we, we, will, start we, well, well, I do know. I built a house about 10 years ago up on off of Howland Road, well, and just, we just, kept thinking it should be Rockville, not Lakeville. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to speak to that, though, the tank is getting moved in what looks like along the, the same line as the proposed pipe that goes to the existing leaching field now. Exactly. So there has been some excavation. Yeah. So. Okay, it's, so it's, yes, so that was before us, though. And... I would assume that there's... But the plan shows. Yeah. This is an existing plan of what was done. Right. So there was a line there that was a trench. Yeah. So it's probably safe to say that it's not going to be going to the moon. Right. Yes. Unknowns. So we're going to say there's no rocks there. And you're not going to change the elevation. The no. tank's going to be the same. It got to otherwise it's stuck on the flow. <laughs> yes. Well, they may have to lower the tank <laughs> oh, yeah. as they get further from the house because oh, yeah. they get the pitch from the pipe from the house on. Yep. So... And we did, yeah, we did talk to Kevin about uh, about that as far right. as yeah, that was his biggest that. concern was the the uh, the actual elevation of the okay. tank. And okay. Understandably. Uh, anything else? I'm good. Okay. So we'll we'll write up a few conditions on uh, 
on, on the approval. And like I said, once, once the, the hay bale or the sock, whatever you do, is in place, you let us know and we'll go out and give it a okay. final okay. So those are the conditions as long as the silk sock is in place? Mm -hmm. Anything else I need to do? No, I don't think there were any others, were there? Okay. Are you going to entertain a motion, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Okay. Make a motion that we close the hearing and issue a negative determination, which is good. Okay. Uh, with the previously mentioned silt sock sedimentation areas where necessary, where the, where the soil will be disturbed. Anything else we have to throw in? No. It's your oh, plan. Thank you. Second. Oh. Okay. No? Further discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. You are okay. all set. Thank you. Can I grab the green one back, or one of them, any one back, just so I, I think I'm here. Oh, oh, here there it is. we go. Yep, just so here. I can make and you sure. can have the one with the, with the, the silt, silt area. Thank you for your drawings. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you very much. Am I free to go, or should I continue to stay? You can, if you, <laughs> you can stay if you want, I'll be abused. I'm we can. very hungry. I've been at meetings all day. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Everybody welcome. Good luck. Hope you get a good piece of equipment to lift that tank out of there. Well, her, uh, her whole family is. Oh, yeah. They get to have the equipment. So, oh, they know that. Pretty I much. I could have made a condition to make us dinner <laughs> in a new kitchen. Uh, I don't know how that would work, but that might be a conflict. Yeah. No, as long as it's under fifty dollars, remember. <laughs> All right. So, so much for hearings. So, old and new business. Uh, first, the emergency cert for Island Terrace. Uh, it started off with a phone call from Nancy to Joe, correct? Yep. Nancy uh, Yates. Yeah, it's not really Island Terrace. It's really well. There's the property known as. The property formerly known as Well, it's, it's not Terrace. even that. The, the property is actually... Uh, uh, Betty's Neck? Betty's Neck? Okay, which, which, is that why we're talking about two different things, I think. You're not talking about the, 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 the brush removal? The emergency cert for the helipad. For the, for the helipad, yeah. yeah. Where, where is that actually located? I... It's right to the left of, of the cranberry bog. Oh, okay. We decided to use it as an heli emergency helipad because we use helicopters so, anyway. Oh, that's there, right. That, you know, that was my... But I, I couldn't place it. Uh, no. So it's not at Island Terrace? No, no it's, it's on Dates' property. Okay. Yeah. But stuff's grown up. Yeah. So it's on private property? Oh, yeah. yeah. That, yeah that's it's, cool. It's, 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 oh, it's yeah. Lakeville property, but it's. Well, it's no. In the, no, it's in the town of Lakeville. It's in the I mean, town of Lakeville. The, right? I don't mean that yeah. it's, it's owned. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, it, it went from, from Joe to, uh, to me. And uh, I asked her if we could do it, uh, just uh, we, just give her a verbal go, okay, to cut a few trees and, and do some trimming and some shrubbery and whatnot because the pilots pilots were complaining. The pilots were complaining. Yep. All right. Uh, and well, they we use know a, how stuff has grown this spring and summer. And so, what, what do they use the heliport for? Well, they use it for cranberries. The, well, Crank. well, what they the, the, they came in. They had to airlift the guy out. He rolled his car over on that sharp curve. Okay. Yeah. And you know they, he was bad enough. They said we got to airlift this guy out. Can we come in? Yep. And you know the fire department said, oh yeah, you know, we have a certified helipad. The guy's coming in. He's hovering and going. Mm. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> All right. So it's a town. The town uses it for a real, yeah. a real they have helipad. It's not right? just for cramping. They have they have different areas yeah. around town specified for that. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so when an accident happens, they don't have to run around. Where can we land? Where can yeah, we yeah, land? Because ninety percent of this is always at night sometime. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. So yeah. that's, that's a certified so why, area. Why would you say no? Well, I said yes, and we we issued uh, an emergency cert. Yeah. So that they could they could do that. And it's short just, term. They're not removing roots. They're just cutting no. down. Yeah, cutting brush and taking the brush away. away. And it's yeah, a 30 day time limit. Yep. In talking to Nate afterwards, I started having second thoughts because even though the property is inside of the township of Lakeville, we're granting authority or, or the permission to two other municipalities, Taunton and New Bedford, to, to use work. this and to yep. use it and to do the work. It gets into liability. And we may not want to do we may not want to extend it beyond the 30 days. As far as if if a if a helicopter crashes because the brush wasn't cut back far enough? Right. 
I do not begin to pretend to know the liability concerns there. Well, I think you bear that liability just having a heliport. Yeah. Plus, the, the, the and, whole, and they brought this up, Can, do we have the authority to, to give another municipality permission? But we've run into that before. Yep. Well, remember? You do until somebody tells you you can't. Remember the lawyer that challenged us? And I'm trying to think of the, the guy who wanted to put a trailer on his property. And he, but he couldn't prove that he owned it. And, 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 and his, he was a lawyer. <laughs> his brother or somebody else was saying, well, we'll, we'll uh, he doesn't really own it. The family owns it. He, therefore, he can't give you permission. And so we went back and forth as to whether or not somebody um, can give you permission to do work on someone somebody else's, else's property. property. And you can, apparently. And, and, and yeah, but municipalities are a whole different That's a oh, whole yeah. different no law. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to get some resolution, uh, discuss it a little bit so, with Nate before we... So what's your recommendation for tonight? Are you just well, we notifying have, us? We, of, we have to approve. We've got to certify, right, the, the emergency cert. Yeah. So, but it's a temporary one. It's a 30-day. Yeah. Okay. So, so if we do that, then you can talk to Nate, get clarification. Exactly. And then if we wanted to vote something permanent mm -hmm. that would entitle them to keep up on it. Yeah. Or, or at least the, the Or side. have our own DPW do it. Who's know. going to, right, who's going to be responsible for maintaining it? Uh, I'd like the cooperation. To yeah. All right, so... Uh, all those in favor of approving the, the emergency cert? I'll make the motion to yes, say make a motion. I'll first. make a motion to yeah. approve the emergency cert. I second that motion. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, okay. Not sure. No, not yet. Not yet. No. Uh, Pierce, we want to take a vote on that, right? That's what we decided. Well, uh, yeah, pending. Okay. We have a request for determination of um, yep. for a certificate of compliance, rather. Yeah. Uh, do I have it here from a Mr. <laughs> it's a fake name. I mean, Ortiz. <laughs> Ortiz. It's not my David. <laughs> That's not really a good alias. So I'm going to recuse myself from this hearing for the record. And then would I be able to speak to it? Yes, you can. In. Around 2011, I bought a piece of property, which is now I reside at, on Pierce Ave. There was an existing order of conditions that was put in place by this George Moritatis. Um, the balance of the work for me was to tie, I put septic tanks in the front of the yard, outside of the buffer zone, and there was a high pressure, I'm going to say an inch and a half or two inch nylon line, that went out into an existing easement. And in an existing manhole cover that was just a hookup for the black water out of the septic system that went out to previously installed leaching fields for all three properties utilize this easement to the leaching fields out in high ground way out in the back there. So this is a private road? No road. Oh, no road. It's my so yard. What, are the, what are the three residences? My neighbors. George Moritatis owned all three. Okay. All right. And so as the developer, he sold the other two. Yep. And they needed leaching fields way out behind. Yeah. They utilized my property, did a wetland crossing. So they did all the work out in the back. Yep. And my house that I bought without this last tie-in, I did the last tie-in. And I got thinking a couple weeks ago when I okay, closed all my other property. Oh, geez, I don't think we ever did that. Bob looked and found it. Okay. So now I'm asking to get... The certificate of compliance on the work was completed in I'm going to say 2013, uh, so it's just been sitting open. Okay. Uh, however, Bob has not been out to look at the site, so I guess what we're we're requesting, me and Bob talked about it, was that if the board would take a vote on it pending his site his visit. Approval. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so I'm not going to make this motion. I'll make a, I'll make the motion <laughs> to grant a certificate of compliance. What's the address? It's 87 Pierce Half. 87 Euro, Pierce Half. He probably has it in his file. Number six. You would it's one nine two something. <laughs> it's really one nine two is our town number. Yeah. Six forty six. Oh, that that's quite a while back. Yes. Well, we can use the address for that. Well, he got it. Yeah. Probably 
2010. Um, oh, wait a minute. Contingent on? 636. 636. All right, so file number? 192, 636. 636. Um, contingent on Bob's final inspection and approval. I'll second that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. So we'll sign this. How do you spell Ortiz? I want to sign this. <laughs> <laughs> Good you're doing that because these are the things that pop up 40 years down the line. Well, I'm on a mission nightmares. to clean up all, all, yeah, all the stuff we have hanging around. Open. Uh, we don't have that much open, I don't think. Oh, uh, I keep finding you some. Keep finding them. Uh, I'm going to talk about a couple of them. There's no list somewhere that says what's open and what's closed. There is, and there it's a partial list. Let me put it that way. Has it been updated? So. And you usually find a long ago done certificate someone wants to find. It's usually like Thursday afternoon an attorney will call. Mm -hmm. and They're you know closing. closing <laughs> yeah. Nine o'clock Friday morning. Yes. Where's, where's your check? Yeah. Have, have it on my desk by five o'clock and that's what I'm going to start doing. Who's when, when the certificate of compliance is, is um, I know issued, it's... who's responsible to record it? The owner, this right? came you up the other day. It. You have to record you have it to registry of disease yeah. to close it out. What if it's, you don't? It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Yeah. Leave okay. It doesn't the happen. Yeah. No sooner did you leave than I turned the page and I found the reference. We had to have it notarized yeah. and then file it to registry of deeds. Okay. And that basically that lifts the notice of intent. Yeah. Right. It clears the title. Yeah. yeah. It clears the title. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that was the first time we I'd run into it, so I wasn't I wasn't clear. But well, at least I found it. <coughs> All right, uh, so whole business. Clark Shores, uh, if you remember back a few months ago, there was a, a complaint from a, an abutter to the beach area that they were discharging water to her property. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we went, we met with the Clark Shores people, told them that uh, they should stop doing that and uh, that we would like to see a notice of intent from them to address drainage uh, to the beach area from from the roadway itself uh, that's getting onto this this uh, butters property into the beach area uh, we haven't heard back from them yet so I'm thinking of sending a follow-up letter that says you know by the way uh, we're, we're waiting on you for this and what prompted my uh, this this uh, action uh, the the butter called and said what's happening well, strictly speaking, it's be between the, the two, those two parties, and that's a civil matter. Right. The only thing that involves us is, is the discharge of surface water runoff. So that's that's going to be the limit of my my inquiry to them. Okay. All right. So that's kind of just so you know where we're where we're headed. Uh, well, not exactly similar situation, but another one of these open cases. This was a, a violation in an enforcement order that Nancy undertook some years ago for 107 Hemlock. Uh, <clears throat> it's a very steep slope uh, for this, this, this property that's right on, right on the pond. They did some excavation, some cutting of, of trees. And Was this the young man? He kind of dumped that uh, the gravel, crushed concrete stuff yep. as fill? I remember yep. that. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And that never got resolved? No, it, it, it's le the, the resolution, the partial resolution was DP wanted a progress letter every year for three years from an engineer saying this is what's been done. Well, that happened the first year, but nothing has happened the subsequent two years. Uh, of course, Nancy left and it was left, uh, left open. So uh, they've applied for a permit to build a deck. And when it came across my desk, I said, well, you know, uh, we can't exactly. Is there, uh, a, a close out process that we can request them to do? We can continue the, the work under the enforcement order. And that's, that's the, the, the balance of, uh, so let me just back up for a second. Go ahead. Yep. So I met with the, the, the owner's parents who are, they're doing a lot of the work on the property. Uh, to help him out, and they recognize that, it, that there's there's a lot of site work to be done, uh, and they're willing to help him out. So I contacted DEP to see how things stood. 
And I said, here's my plan. You haven't gotten a, a progress report in two years. I'm going to give you one in November. And I'm going to include what they're telling me they're going to do to, to fix this. Do we have to move the gravel? Do we need to change? Or we need to change the drainage. That's the biggest problem. The problem. Just washing away well, the Well, they slope. took out all the trees, right? Yeah. yeah. I remember that now. Yeah. And there, there are no fines left in this gravel. It's just all... Heavy stuff now. Yeah, really. I remember DEP was, was saying, don't, let's not go moving, removing the stuff. Yeah, it's exactly what I said to yeah. the guy. I said, yeah. we don't want to be moving this stuff for nothing. Yeah. So I, I think we're, we're, I talked him into uh, putting in a swale to divert some of the water and maybe a couple of uh, timbers uh, crosswise to, uh, to stem the, the flow of the open. Was there anything about replanting on that? On that? I thought there was. It j there's a vegetation plan. plan uh, okay. Could it grow in that stuff? Or really? it, it actually, where they want to put the new deck, that has stabilized. Oh, okay. there, there's new vegetation growing there. That so that's good. And the, the, the steep slope, the far the far side, has uh, has grown bar back okay. significantly. So that's that's good. But if we don't do something about the erosion pretty soon, it's going to overtop the uh, <clears throat> the straw wattles that are there now. So we've got to. We've got to take some, some measures to, to stop that. So, uh, did I answer uh, your question, Mark? Are the, are the waddles starting to get yeah, uh, uh, built up against them, or should they be replaced, new ones? Because, uh, I mean, they don't last forever. I mean, generally, you put those things in for the duration of a construction project. Yeah, that's, that's the balance. So. And a year or so, and then they're out. Uh, but not three. That's yeah. the three years. Okay, here's the rest of the story, then. And, and, and I talked to a DP about this. Um, we can have them continue doing the work under the enforcement order, just like we're doing with Pusateri. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is something that Lenore uh, recommended it as well. And then once we're satisfied, then we make them go through uh, either an RDA or a, at a minimum an RDA or a notice of intent for any of the remaining work. And they do want to do some other work. And, and this, yes, and DEP said yes, that's what we want, put it in the letter, that that's the plan, and we'll sign off on it. Okay. So, um, sounds good. That's the plan. Okay. Now, the, they haven't actually filed anything with us. Just a building permit okay. application. Okay. And then they were supposed to act on the enforcement order. Right. So, we so, kind of have some leverage there. If they so, we, not, we are not going to award the RDA. The RDA. Right. We're going to continue doing the work under the enforcement order. Which which includes which is now a great time for them to stabilize stuff exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not going to include them putting a deck on until they don't get the deck until until the, the site is secured. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm in favor of that. All right. So that's that's how good. we'll that sounds real good. proceed. And finally, since I just mentioned it, uh, Pusateri. Pusateri. I was just going to ask about that. <laughs> uh, funny how these things work. That was the the lake you put in, right? <laughs> the, the, the pond, <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. He's got until November to finish the, the restoration program. Uh, but we haven't gotten any updates. And in, in retrospect, I'm thinking maybe we should have built in a couple of uh, checkpoints during I that time. we had. We only put a due date of November 1st. We did say we have right of entry. We always yeah, do. Yeah. Um, but we should have had a couple of uh, From the engineer, we should have been yeah. getting. Was so there's SciTech that SciTech is one of the two. It's one of the two. Yeah. So I guess I would recommend if you try to contact them, just let them know you'd like to come out and make a site visit, not unannounced. No, I wouldn't do it unannounced. I think though the approach I'd take is I'd go to the engineer first. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's he's the idea. one who sent the, the remediation plan to us. Yeah, yeah. He signed off on it. He's an LSP. Uh, and he said, if you've got any issues, this is the number. So I'm going to take them up there on you it. Go. Okay. And yeah. let us know what your progress is. If they're, you're going to meet your deadline, uh, maybe we can set up some. Send along some pictures? Yeah. Or something. The more I get out of them, the better. So, okay. That sounds good. Yep. So that's where. Oh, and it, the reason it, it came to my attention was this morning, EPA called. <laughs> and it was funny because it started off, this woman saying, well, I'm with the EPA and we are tasked with blah, 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 blah. I said, hold it right there. I've been doing this for 35 years. I know who the EPA is. Yeah. Uh, and, and so we, we started talking and she said, we've gotten complaints about filling of wetlands in Lakeville. No, really? 
I was shocked. <laughs> and I said, let me guess. She said, how did you know? And this is an enforcement order that's been going on for, for a year. Uh, so we're, we're kind of on top of this. We were working on the site with, with DP. Oh, we had no idea. We thought that this was just you know, an uncontrolled uh, so the, wetlands flow. So the neighbor went to the So DP. somebody called. She said, it's anonymous. I can't tell you who. But uh, they called and complained that there was wetland. There was, I won't get into all the other yeah. insinuations. All the same property, though. All the same property, yeah. So, so I said we'd, we'd stay on top of it. And so he dug a pond, so now she's complaining that he's filling it back in. <laughs> because we made we ordered him to do that. <laughs> is, is that what just happened? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. I think there was a reference to swimming. Motion to attract. <laughs> to swimming. On that note. <laughs> it took one last swim. Yeah. Well, Maybe it was the horses, I don't uh, know. All right. So, so enough. Good stuff. So, all right. Uh, final. You're going to get hold of the engineer and the LSP. I'm going to. Right, and and if anybody want, if we, there is a, a site uh, progress meeting, I'll let you all know. Yes, please do. Yeah, I'd like to see that. It's one place I'd like to. Yeah. You haven't been down there, have you? No. Nobody ever tells me when there's a site visit. <sighs> For so, obvious reasons. So far, it's worked. <laughs> <laughs> what else right. do we have? Uh, we just have minutes. Uh, two sets, July 9th and the 10th. Uh, I don't have any comments. I, I looked through both, and I didn't have nothing serious. I don't have any comments either. Uh, I make a motion to accept the minutes for the July 9th meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Is July 10th the uh, uh, herring? Yep. Yeah. Joint. Okay. Yep. Joint. Motion to approve the uh, July 10th minutes of meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And speaking of carrying the rivers and such. Did they ever do it? No. No. Did you see my email? Yeah. Oh, was that what? Yeah. There, were, there was a federal, I didn't know what, a, what, yeah, what, what that email man, was about. What more now you people? know as much as I do. Okay. They, they had like 11, 11, 11 different permits. Yes. There, there How could they federal, possibly need one more? Federal. federal form that's got to be filled out. So they, after all this, they never got to do the project. And they missed their window now, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So they're looking towards next next year now. Yeah. Did we ever approve July twenty third? I think so. We were caught up. We had. Yeah, I think we were caught up. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye.